Last week, we talked about the why of this, why we need to write our stories. This week, we're beginning the how. How do we write our stories? And we'll start by exploring the scope of our lives, mapping, charting, listing, even some drawing, identifying some of the key people, places, and events that have shaped our faith. And we're gonna talk about the kind of stories that bring God glory. Some of this may surprise you. As always, we're gonna start by grounding ourselves in God's word. So let's go. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the sun. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search, and a time to give up, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to mend, a time to be silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. Thank you. There it is the whole scope of our lives, right there. And Ecclesiastes, the whole scope of human activity. And we have a story, every one of us, for every one of those words, right? To uproot, to build, to gather, to mourn, to weep, to laugh, to dance. We have a story for every one of those, of those places. And that leads us to a question. We all have hundreds of stories, right? How do we know which stories to write? Are we writing one story or are we writing many stories? And the simple answer is both, right? We're doing both. You're, you're going to be writing multiple stories from your life, and yet you're also writing one single story. It, it's kind of like, it's kind of like this book here, right? How many stories are in this book? I, I don't know. I don't know, but it, it must be a thousand. It must be a thousand. It's hundreds, maybe, yeah, a thousand or more. And think about even the lives of the people in this book, the life of David. How many stories are there about David? So many about stories about Esther. Ruth, Samson, on and on, right? We have multiple, multiple stories that actually span, you know, thousands of years. And yet this is one story, one book. So it will be the same with us, right? We're going to write multiple stories from our lives, but because God is in and through and with us and all of those stories, they will, there, there will be this natural unity that weaves them together into one story. Mm 